My name is Jason, it's Alicia, and we are from Supersonic Science, so very nice to meet you all. Okay, so you can go first. So just pick up that water, so pick the water up in your hand and pour a little bit into here for me. Yep, that's good. All right, give it a shake. Wait for it. Okay, so the reason we spray the trays is it makes the bubbles form a lot better. A dry surface is not as effective. Above the tray, so try not to touch the tray because you're very, very close. And I can do a bubble inside of a bubble. Okay, and when I count three, two, one, we're going to pour it into our powder, okay? So you ready? Three, two, one, really fast, really fast, really fast. Okay, but where is it now? Inside the, the powder. Oh, good boy. Yes, it is because inside the powder. The powder is, the powder is hard. If you put water inside it, it will turn soft. That's right. It's been absorbed, hasn't it? It's actually gone into Mom, the powder. It's absorbed in the powder. But when you get home, add another roughly half a cup. So if you get a cup out of the cupboard, half fill it with water, pour that into your snow. Then put your snow into your freezer for 30 minutes. Okay, so half an hour, 30 minutes. When you take your snow out, you'll be able to build a snowman or make a snowball. You can even go outside and have a snowball fight, which is pretty cool. <laughs> dry back to the powder that we started with at the start of the experiment, you can do the experiment all over again. Okay, so and when you do that, put some colouring in your water. Okay, you can change the colour of your snow. Okay, you can have red snow or green snow or blue snow or any colour you like, okay? You ready for this? This is so cool. Alright, are you ready? You ready for these? These are amazing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to break apart the hydrogen and the oxygen. We're going to capture the oxygen, okay? That's really important. So Alicia will put some dishwashing liquid in there, give it a good swirl. So it's got peroxide and a bit of dishwashing liquid in there at the moment. Now remember the peroxide is made up of those two things joined together. We'll put some stripes in our elephant's toothpaste as well. Okay, so put some bread in. Okay, now it has come time to break apart the peroxide. So we're using that second chemical to do that, the potassium iodide. It's a special type of salt, okay? However, it's not like the salt we put on our hot chips. It's a little bit different, okay? Quite different, actually. But it is from the, it is a type of salt. Okay, so you ready for this? Let's do a countdown backwards from five. So five, four, three, two, one. That, that's a good one. That is a good one. It does look like toothpaste, doesn't it? Do it like elephant sized toothpaste, you think? Yeah! the name, elephant's toothpaste. It is an awesome experiment.